Honey, I'm home. Hi, I'm Sangeeta and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making Japanese cake or Japanese cake as we lovingly call it. This classic French pastry is also known as almond meringue tot or a duckoise. Cochin Bakery made the best Japanese cake and it still brings back such happy memories. So let's whip up some super easy Japanese cake. The first step is to blanch some almonds. I've soaked 1 cup of almonds in boiling water for about 15 minutes until the skin loosens up. You can skip this step if you wish to and use ready-made ground almond flour. After 15 minutes, drain the water and place the almonds in a colander to allow the almonds to drain rest of the water and cool down a bit. After a while, you should be able to peel the almonds like so. The skin comes off easily. Place the peeled almonds on a plate or on a towel to dry for at least half an hour to an hour. Once the almonds have dried, transfer the almonds into a clean dry mixer jar. Drop in 30 grams of brown sugar into it and 1.5 and tablespoon of corn flour. Blend until you get a fine powder. You can use white sugar if you wish to. In a clean bowl, drop in 2 egg whites. Make sure your eggs are at room temperature. Whisk this until the white froths up a little. Now add a pinch of salt to stabilize the whites and beat it again. Whisk this on low for another 15 seconds. Now drop in 60 gram of granulated sugar into the egg whites, half at a time. Beat this on a medium high for about a minute. You will see that the egg whites have doubled. Now add rest of the sugar and whisk it for a minute or two just until the sugar granules disappear. You can see how stiff the egg whites are. The mixture is so glossy and they have been perfectly whipped. Now drop in half of the powdered almond into the egg whites and fold it in. Do not beat this. Be gentle while folding it in. You can sift the almond if you wish to, but it is okay to not. Once the batter is mixed up well, Add rest of the powdered almond and fold that in until lump free. Pour in 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence into the batter and fold it in gently. Line a tin or a baking tray with butter paper. Place perforated rings on the paper. Butter oil the sides of the ring for easy removal of the tot once done. Scoop and fill the rings with the batter up until the rim. These cakes bake flat. So go ahead and fill these up. Smoothen the top and level it. Clean up the sides as well. Bake these at 150 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Once it turns golden brown, you know that your tots are done. Peel the cake while it's still warm. Do this carefully.
Now let's take a knife and run it around the insides to loosen it up a little. Gently push it out of the ring. You can see how beautiful it has turned out. The texture is gorgeous and it is so soft and crumbly. I could make 6 discs using this recipe. So in total I could make 3 Japanese cake. If you are new to this channel, hi and welcome. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you do happen to try any recipes, I would love to hear the feedback and do send across the photos on my Instagram handle page at honeyamhome. I'll have the page linked in my description. Now let's whip up 1 fourth cup of whipping cream. You can add a little bit of sugar if you wish to. This whipping cream already has sugar in it, so I will not be adding any more. If you are planning to add sugar, please add only about a tablespoon to lightly sweeten it. The tots have enough sugar in it already. Apply a generous layer of the whipping cream and sandwich that with another layer of tot and then some more cream. Place chocolate buttons on the Japanese cake and you're done. I would recommend eating it right after you make it or you could even refrigerate it to have it the next day. These tasted delicious and I hope you do get to try this soon. Until next time.